Hello! Today I'd like to show you how to do another stitch that I use when I'm doing um, red work stitchery. So these stitches are usually relatively simple, basic embroidery stitches. And I'm set up with my sample here and I've got a stabiliser on the back. I've got my water erasable pen if I want to do some drawing. I've got my scissors, my stranded cottons. I'm usually using um, two strands of a stranded cotton. And, and of course a needle, an embroidery needle with a, uh, an eye suitable to take the thread. So with your um, embroidery I'm going to bring my thread up from the back and uh, yes I've already got a stitch here but if you imagine there wasn't a stitch and you're just starting out you're going to pop your needle so you want your thread in a loop around and you're going to pop your needle in very close to where you came up in the first place right next to it or even on it but not kind of right into it and then you want to bring your needle up a short distance away sort of a chain stitch distance away but you'll get the hang of that as you do it and that thread that you've put in a loop should sit behind the needle and then you're just going to pull that through and just gently pull on that and that will form a nice little loop sitting behind that thread and so to do the next one and obviously it's forming a chain which is why it's called chain stitch again needle down in very close to where you had come up in the first place your thread going around so that it sits behind your needle when you pull it through pull that through and just gently tug on that till it sits comfortably so just down right next to your where your thread has come up so that's inside the loop of the chain where you're putting your needle down a stitch distance away the thread sitting behind the needle and pull that through so that it forms a loop around that thread and just a gentle tug, don't pull too hard because it'll pull in too tight. Just do one more just to show you again. Needle in very close to where your thread has come out, a stitch distance away, thread coming around behind the needle and pull that through and just gently tug on that. Now this stitch has been used for all sorts of things. It can be used for an outline, it can be used for decoration, of course you can use it for lots of other colours. You could do a whole embroidery in chain stitch if you so desired. Um, but I use it just occasionally when I'm doing some red work. Um, and it can be done smaller with a single strand, of course, um, or, or different threads. And I'm going to show you an example of where I have used it in one of my red work stitcheries. So this is one of my patterns that I've done, and I've just called them red work angels. And just outlining on their wings here, I have used a chain stitch. Now I have actually used a metallic single strand of metallic thread for the outline on this because I wanted to have the angels to have just a little bit of zing. Um, but it works really well um, whichever way you're going to do it. And I should just mention that I have got a downloadable stitch guide, a free downloadable stitch guide on my website which is gourmetquilter.com which shows you some of these stitches that I commonly use when I'm doing red work. And just so that you're aware, this particular quilt I have done a pattern for, and it's called Red Work Angels, and it's available to purchase and download also on my website, gourmetquilter.com. So today I just thought I'd show you how to do the chain stitch and an example of where I've used it. Thank you.